You have 30 seconds. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, it's Katie. And Jasmine. And we are back with another episode of Awesome Translation. If you haven't been here before, we take a recipe and put it into Google Translate. It goes from English to Korean to Italian to Afrikaans and many, many more until it finally back to English to give us its hilariously translated recipe. Last time, Mimo got a little bit sassy with me. Just gotta move on. Uh, so you guessed it, it's her turn to be in the hot seat. I think she's scared. She should be, let's go sure. give her the recipe. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, you ready, Mimo? Yes. Fruit juice mama. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds easy. Let's get started. You seem so scared. I am, honestly, I'm so scared. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> Step one, fill the cave at 350, link the document with the selected page. <laughs> 350 oven. Page, I think, parchment paper. Oh. Oh, wow. Fill the cave at the... The document is the baking equipment, whatever it is. Wow, how are you feeling right now? So confident. <laughs> We're gonna line this beautiful container. I'm just doing this, I'm doing it. I'm gonna cut my parchment to fit in there. I've decided I'm gonna turn my oven on to 350 degrees and I'm gonna line this baking pan with a parchment. Are we making a brownie? But that doesn't have any fruit. My pan is ready, I'm gonna go turn my oven on to 350 degrees. <laughs> Where's the oven? Okay, step number two. Put a two tablespoon oil for mixing in a large bowl and ignite. <laughs> Add salad and cry for three to four minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> ignite, like start. I need a large bowl. I'm thinking, where's my stand mixer? Or my hand mixer, let me check. Oh, this is the only thing I can start. Ignite means like electric to me. Is that what it means to you guys? Am I so off? Our opinion doesn't matter. Never mattered to me. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, two tablespoons of oil is... Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're making that two tablespoons of oil is stupid? You have 30 seconds. Ah! I on oh, chicken. I see a bunch of greens. <gasps> I'm making a marinade. I'm not gonna add any of the greens. I'm gonna actually use an herb, parsley, and I'm gonna blend it three to four minutes. Can you do it while crying? <laughs> <laughs> Two tablespoon of olive oil. There's vegetable oil, but I just love olive oil. Ignite. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been this confused in my life. <laughs> Why is Kelly crying? <laughs> So I'm done crying. <laughs> now that I'm done crying and my marinade is perfect, I'm gonna move to step three. Transport with sieve and cool. Then squeeze too much water and chop all right. It's getting worse. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't supposed to ignite it. I need a tip. I need Kelly. Can we have a powwow? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, we're gonna powwow just yeah. a minute. Sometimes there's ingredients that need excess water removed. <laughs> but who is fruit mama? <laughs> <laughs> excess water removed. Think, think, think. think. Um, um, um. That was not helpful, Kelly. Kelly, don't be saying. Disappointed. <laughs> Part of me really thinks I should like blanch spinach and like remove the water and chop it up. Everybody smile if you think I'm right. <laughs> Cool means it was heated. Ignite meant turn on a stove top. So I'm thinking I'm gonna blanch some spinach, bring out the excess water, chop it up, and add it to my big bowl for Big Mama. So our water is hot, and we're gonna add as much spinach as the gods tell me. I don't add all of it. Spinach is like one of those things that becomes nothing when you cook it. Squeeze too much water. Now that our excess water is removed, I'm gonna chop it up. I don't feel great, but I don't feel bad. I think that's all right. I'll dump it in here. Do you think spinach was right? Um, I'll get back to you. Step four, place the half teaspoon sliced nuts, half cup Parmesan. Yes, spinach was right. One and a half cup cheese, two fine garlic, a quarter cup chopped celery, quarter cup chopped pickle, <laughs> one lemon flavor. Okay, maybe spinach was not right. <laughs> one 
huge chicken and low, what's saline? Rotate until rotated and great. Okay, I'm honestly not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of sliced nuts. Half a cup Parmesan. I mean, there's Parmesan. I'm committed, half a cup of Parmesan. One and a half cup of cheese. I think it needs like some creamy cheese. There's feta. We're gonna go for Italian cheese, garlic. Oh, you see garlic, you're just going, garlic. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting it could be wrong. I'm used to reading recipe and knowing I trust them. Yeah, it's garlic, that's for sure garlic. I think I'm gonna follow everything as it says. I don't have trust issues. You have seen this show before, right? A quarter cup of chopped celery. This is the only questionable thing in this recipe so far. The pickle also makes no sense to me. I know that one for sure is not pickle. Green onions, artichoke. Artichoke it is. I just feel like pickle marinade just seems like artichoke. Here's some lemon juice. We're gonna mix this. I feel like Fruit Juice Mama needs to be renamed to something else because I'm not adding any fruit to this. Sal saline is salt. Where's my chicken? So this chicken is already cooked. I'm gonna be adding one whole chicken. I'm gonna remove all the bones and shred the chicken and add it to my spinach mixture. Step five, put the pillow on the desk with a long face. Grease two inch short and add another leaf on top to cover the two leaves. Okay, I think pillow means some sort of dough. Okay, here are my pillow options. Pie, puff pastry, or phyllo. This looks like a pillow. Going with puff pastry. I feel like I finally, like, it makes sense. The only thing I'm still questioning is the celery. <laughs> I am putting my pillow on the work surface, the desk, so I'm gonna separate my dough. I think long face means it's telling me which direction to put it. I'm gonna roll this out a little bit. Oh, make it long when you roll it. I think I need a tip, and I need my tip from Jasmine, and I want it to be generous. Oh! Okay, your hint is you need more leaves. <laughs> That's what he said. That means I need more dough. I think I need to roll this and cut it, and then it will give me more leaves. So grease two inches short and add another leaf on top to cover the top, the two leaves. Huh? We have more than two. You told me I need more than two. I had two. Okay, I've rolled out all my dough and now I'm gonna grease it and attach the two leaves together like a sandwich. Everything I'm doing feels correct. <laughs> I'm gonna read step six. Cover me in oil and add two more leaves and put each other upstairs as before. Grease me again and add two more leaves. Repeat with grease. Yeah, it's just stacking it. I'm gonna like add this, fill it, Grease it and then add more. Yeah. Oh my gosh. If I figure this out on my first try, Jasmine, I'm coming for you. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna start stacking it to upstairs. Use about one third of the solid cheese mixture on the tip, but one inch limit. Surprise into sausage. Where did the sausage come from? <laughs> and also, where's the fruit juice? We're gonna go ahead and layer all these, like step six said, and then I will put one third of the filling on top. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna be great. Oh, was I supposed to roll it after putting butter in between and like make it thin? I'm gonna use one third of this mixture and I'm gonna put it in here, but like leave one inch for the crust to like. Oh, so you Ooh. think sausage? Anything sausage, I think it just means encasing it. <gasps> Was I supposed to roll it into sausage and like, then like, there's a few things I could have done different. But at the end, it's gonna be delicious. But this crest to filling ratio is off. Step number eight. The shape is now changing to a screw and then add the dough to the prepared baking sheet. Bestow with a moist veil. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to like, leave the thing out and roll it into a sausage and then like, make this circle. I know it for a fact. I can't go back, huh? So we're gonna skip step eight and go to step nine because there's nothing I can do about it right now. Repeat the above steps twice more and insert the beginning of each circle into the front end to form a, a large circle. I knew it was supposed to be a sausage. <laughs> we got it wrong. We? we? <laughs> I really wanna dump it and like start again. Actually, we don't, okay. What are you doing? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna make this into a sausage and I'm gonna roll it into a circle and then I'm gonna put it in the baking pan. Okay, it's gonna work. There's a will, there's a way. I am filling one third of the mixture into 
each two leaf dough and then rolling it up and then it's gonna make a giant sausage. Now I'm using way more of my filling than I would have used the other way. So like this makes so much sense. It's gonna make a circle guys. Wash the baby with egg and decorate with question mark. Okay, egg wash. The baby is clearly this. It said question mark and it just means whatever you want. <laughs> I'm still confused where the fruit comes and I feel like you I still have a clue. I would like to use my last clue. There's the name of a thing inside a fruit that you could decorate with. Oh, pit? <laughs> have you decorated with a lot of pits? Oh, seed. Oh, sesame seed. I'm gonna egg wash it and decorate it with some sort of seed. Now we're gonna top it and decorate with sesame seeds. We're gonna use both black and white sesame seeds for color purposes. Step 11, bake the cake for about 45 minutes before baking. <laughs> I think it's, oh, 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 it's saying bake the cake for 45 minutes before eating, but that turned into baking. Mm. Oh, tricky, mm. tricky. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go put this in the oven for 45 minutes. The second baking I think means cooling, and then I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. All right, it's out of the oven. It's Smells so good, I'm excited. Confidence level 10 again. Step number 12, take a moment before serving. Okay. <laughs> Can we please take a moment? Okay, I followed directions. <laughs> I did not think Fruit Juice Mama would look anything like this. I'm ready to see the final dish. Oh. Close eyes. Open them. It's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mine is just, just like Big Juice Mama. This one is just fruit mama. I'm gonna try mine first. Can you hear it? Like, perfect. <laughs> That's really good, I'm not kidding. It's like spinach dipping and pastry dough. I kind of think I messed up the chicken part. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay, now let's try the real deal. So the dish is called spinacopita and it's a Greek dish. It's not always in the spiral design, but this time we chose to do that, and it's a spinach and cheese filo dough pastry. Don't see any chicken, so that's red flag. Mmm, more herbs in this one. It's so good. I think they're like distant cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to come try it? This yes, yes. Really? Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my God, mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> So what was huge chicken? Egg. Egg. <laughs> so good. Right? Thank you. Wow. This was so much fun. I had no idea how hard it was being in front of the camera and not knowing like the next step and stuff like that. But honestly, I feel like I did pretty well. You did great, sweetie. Yay! <laughs> this was so much fun, but let's get Jasmine back on the hot seat. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any recipe ideas, send it to Katie at Old Lady Katie on Instagram. Bye. 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 Nice job. Good job, Nemo. I'm so proud of you.